He changed how the game of football was played, coached, watched, and promoted. He inspired a nation with an unyielding dedication to achieving excellence with honor. He showed countless coaches from coast to coast how to positively influence young lives. Now the life and legacy of the great Newt Rockne is explored as never before to show a 21st century audience what we can learn today from this masterful teacher. Coming in 2019, Rockne, immigrant to icon. He was a son of a faraway village, Voss, Norway. One of millions drawn to American shores, to America's promise. At Notre Dame, he excelled in academics, reached heights in athletics, made an impact on others. Rock teamed with Gus Doré to create the first great passing duo. In his day, Notre Dame was a place for Catholic immigrants to find themselves and chart their future. Rockney was certainly the person that put uh, Notre Dame on the map for all of these Catholics and uh, football was uh, one of the means that they could follow us. In time, Newt Rockney became coach of the Fighting Irish and a household name nationwide, leading Notre Dame to unparalleled success on the field and deep admiration off of it. There are so many lessons to be learned from Rockney's life and relearned and Jim Fave and his extensive biography on Rockney has really pulled that out. I read everything I could about that era, of course, including several Rockney biographies. I determined that there was not a proper, comprehensive, definitive biography of Rockney. The story is really a compelling one, and one that I think needs to be told in as many ways as possible. He was a world of personal connection. His dedication to his players brought their unending loyalty. Five undefeated seasons, three national championships, a winning percentage of 881, highest in major college football history. Rockney's stamp on American football was deep. And he mentored coaches from coast to coast. He taught during the summer at these summer coaching schools. So he really helped professionalize the whole job of being a football coach. He operated coaching clinics wrote books and articles, gave speeches, designed and endorsed equipment, helped place coaches in schools everywhere, rubbed shoulders with dignitaries, and was an in-demand celebrity himself. Rockney became one of the most off-quoted Americans of his time. People always want to know, what does Rock have to say? On a shocking death in 1931, his great friend, humorist Will Rogers, said of Rockney, Notre Dame was your address, but every gridiron in America was your home. His life of achievement stands the test of time and can lead the way for many yet today. In this film, we'll dig further into the legacy of Rockney and talk to people that were connected to him and hear more about the Rockney legend and hear some of those rare stories that have never been told. Honing in on his roots, his character, and more than anything, his influence on the lives of so many. This film will celebrate Rockney's life in a way that no other work has done before. Rockney, immigrant to icon.